Okay, I'm out here trying to fix this fence because yes, a lot of it is missing and it starts raining on me. These are not what I'm using for wire fencing. Anyway, I'm having a time. Still haven't made a decision on the computer. I did, um, I did look around, you know, different screen resolutions, different memories, different RAM, different this, that, and the other. And I've made choices on certain things. This whole AMD Ryzen, I'm, I'm not feeling it. And I know it's like, oh, it's so much better than Intel Core. Well, is it though? I mean, might be old school, but maybe I said this in the other video. I just, I feel like it's tried and true, you know? So I'm a lot more likely to go with that than, uh, than the Ryzen. I just, I don't know. My nephew has a Ryzen, he says he loves it, but he's a teenager. So his knowledge of computers is very <sighs> limited. And all he really does is, um, what's that thing that people, like, they chit-chat on? I don't know, one of those, uh, one of those sites, Reddit, Reddit. Everything he knows about everything comes from Reddit. So, that's funny. Anyway, I'm just waiting for the rain to chill out a little bit. I'm probably covered in spider webs. It is what it is. I mean, I want to get this fence fixed. I don't like people shooting things on my property. I just don't. I don't want to make it easy on them. So, I mean, if I had the money to put a brick wall down this entire border, I would. But, wow. Just in block alone. Holy cow, that would, that would cost more than the property. <laughs> oh man, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be good. Anyway, I just looked at my kids' grades, so I'm, I'm having feelings about life. My older son, he's doing good in everything except for one class. My younger son is basically failing two or three classes and we're only on like the third week of school. I Speechless. Just, I mean, I know, yeah, I need to take his phone away. I already hid his backup phone. Yeah, he had a backup phone. My daughter told me about it. She ratted him out. But he did show up with an iPad the other day. He can't log into it though, uh, without iTunes. So that's kind of useless to him. He might have a tablet somewhere hidden. Cause I know he got a tablet a few years ago. I just haven't seen it. So until just now talking, I didn't even remember. So that's good. Anyway, I'm really, really still leaning towards the MacBook Air. I'm gonna be honest. I'm really leaning towards that just because I've been using iPhones for several years and I have been sucked into that Apple world. I, it's, you know, when they call it a magic keyboard and a magic mouse, if you don't know about that, yes, they call it a magic keyboard and a magic mouse. They got some voodoo going on over there. Because once you have an iPhone and you try to switch back to an Android, you have to be a very strong person or spend a god awful lot of money to be good with that. Or just hate Apple. I mean, there are people that hate Apple, so. I wish I was one of you. <laughs> I have an Apple. My 14 year old has an Apple. Well, he's gonna be 15 in like 10 days. Um, my 13 year old has my old iPhone 7. It's in perfect condition. So it's not like it's a bad phone. It's a great phone, except something 
just recently came loose in it, so whenever it, if it rings and vibrates, it like rattles. So it's, yeah, it's kind of funny. He said he needs to tighten something up inside the phone. So I'm glad he at least did the research. Anyway, is this ever gonna like stop raining? I mean, I know it's not pouring. I could probably just get out and do it, but all this crap from the trees, I am so allergic to. Like, I'm going to have a running nose and watery eyes for days after this. So I might as well just get out and do it. <laughs> all right, so that was a waste of time. Hi. Okay, hi. One thing I forgot to ask about. So, we've already discussed content. Yeah, I was just messing with my hair color, so not thrilled with it, but I, I, I don't like when there's just so much dark and I, I feel like it, I feel like it makes me look older, older. That's an entirely different thing. I know to a lot of people, I probably don't look my age, but to me, I very much do. To me, I look older than my age and I'm not going to go get surgery. I'm not going to pile on makeup every day. I'm not going to do all those things. But if lightening my hair a little bit, like literally just I'm lightening a few little strands here and there, if that's going to make me feel better, cool. So be it. Anyway, content. I will continue to film. Okay, if I'm going to work for someone else's company, I am limited. Okay, I am not saying goodbye to my company. This is a temporary situation where I need to make money now because this has now extended for so long that it puts my family in jeopardy if I don't make a move. Okay. Range. Would you guys like to see some of my toys out on the range? It's not a, it's not like a cool setup or anything. It's just things that I, I wouldn't say passionate about, but I really do love and trust and feel good about. It's hard to talk about them on here. You get it. Um, I feel like you would get it, but there's like one I always have with me because it's just so small and compact and internal hammer and all that. I don't carry it loaded for the most part, unless I know I'm stepping into a dangerous situation where I may need to defend my life. But that's what it's for. That's what they're for. In my eyes, they are to defend your life. Unless you're hanging out with my son, then you're going hunting. But if we're going hunting, we need to have the means to process and freeze that meat. So there will be no hunting until everything is set up and ready to go. And I'm not even set up for chickens right now. Uh, as far as processing. So we're not going to be processing a deer or a turkey. Um, anyway, just a couple of things that I, I really do hold near and dear to my heart. Um, and it's funny because one that I have, which I call my baby, it's like, because it's a baby, it's tiny. It's, I think it's called an air weight. That's my everyday carry around deal. A friend of mine got the exact same one. Meanwhile, this friend is a large male. He's terrified of his own. He got the same one and he's terrified of it. And I'm like, are you, okay, first of all, you shouldn't be carrying it loaded if you're afraid of it. Do not be afraid of it, but do not ever put your finger on the trigger unless you have intent, okay? And that means your life is being threatened or you are on the range practicing. You should always get comfortable with it if that is what you choose to have. If you choose to own them, you damn well, you damn well better get comfortable with them. Because someone who is afraid of them, that's in my eyes, one of the most dangerous people. Anyway, so I'm going to try and keep up the work content. I do still have an exterior to tile because, you know, pot lights and bringing electrical wires down and around and undoing their spider web of a mess and the tub surround is done being tiled. It's almost done being grouted, which is probably the dumbest sentence ever said in the world, but no joke. As I am grouting it, I get a call from my mother saying, hey, can you get the kids from school? And I'm like, not really. Um, 
so it it goes into a thing where she's like oh yeah well I, I need you to get them so I have to stop what I'm doing clean up every well I used up what I had mixed and cleaned everything up and you know check that out a few times and then stop for the day but anyway are you guys interested in the range hmm, 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 hmm. do you want to know what I like do you want to know what I don't like do you want to know what weird hoarding tendencies I have for ammo because anybody in my group of people we've got we've got some I'm not a prepper by any means we might have enough food to get us through a week maybe and that depends on what week you catch me on <laughs> but if you're gonna come threaten our lives we're we're good we're set we could take out a small country you'd have to be a very small country though because there's only three of us and to be honest i'd only trust two of us with yeah anyway like there's a lot of link going on here um i don't like cutting it anyway it's like uh what was it samson if you cut his hair you took away his powers anyway so i've just been busy laughing at myself for uh an hour now I think it, maybe not even an hour. No, because I got out of the shower. It's 3.17 now. I got out of the shower at 2.30, 2.20, something like that. It might have been an hour, but it's still damp in the back. And that's one thing I forgot about, the bleaching and ammonia and all the things that I put in my hair. And it makes the water sit in your hair forever I mean like it's gonna take two days to dry if I t like I usually go to bed with my hair tied back if I do that it's gonna take two days to dry no joke especially when I go to work and I'm sweating and the sweat gets into my hair that I, I don't wash my hair every day guys like twice a week maybe if I remember and that doesn't, that is regardless of what gets in it. If I get insulation, whatever, if I forget it's in there, and I'll wash my hair. I'll remember when the rest of my bed starts getting itchy. But lately, and by lately I mean like the last couple of years, I am crashing out on top of the blankets. And then somewhere in the middle of the night, I'll grab the one pillow that you know I like to kind of rest my shoulder on but that's about it anyway I'm this is so funny this is a freaking disaster anyway you know if I went to a salon they would have taken up four to six hours of my time and several hundred dollars I'd rather laugh at myself for what equates to maybe a total of an hour and a half spread over two different days. Whatever. Anyway, have a good one. So I think you guys have seen this couch before. I'm sweeping, but <sighs> the couch used to be intact. And then that dog over there, yeah, I know it's a mess because I made the mistake of putting bags of clean laundry out, which my kid got into. I was going to clean this up. I don't know if he's still in there. Oh my goodness. I think he's out. Yes, there was a dog sleeping in it. So I could not hear. Where is Tucker? He's not in the pocket anymore. <laughs> he's not in it. I'm trying to sweep this up, but oh my goodness. What a mess. Like, this was all clean yesterday. Is this... there an Aaron's room outside or mine? All right, I'll check Aaron's room. I am feeling like a taxi service. So I just dropped off two kids. One wasn't mine, one was. Now I'm gonna go pick up one of mine, two of my nieces, bring them to a park, drop them off, hopefully, 
they have a ride home. I've been told they do, so yay. But man, I, it's Saturday. And I know, sure, whatever, people drive around. Oh, okay, here's one. How do I navigate this? Okay, I need to take this post down next to me. This thing, that post is in my way because the gate is up there. So, that dog needs to go back in. Bobo, no, 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 Bo, no. Oh boy, problem. All right, so the Atwood Taxi Service has fulfilled its duties for the day. Although, I picked up a couple extra passengers. I can get this off the magnet. There's one. And there's the other. All of you can see his back. That poor guy, he's having an issue with fleas. And he's tearing away at the fur down the center of his back. And it started down by his tail. And I was putting tea tree oil on it. Apparently wasn't enough. Oh, I feel so bad for him. I've tried lotions and oils and baths. and I mean, obviously you can't bathe them too often because it will dry them out. And he has very sensitive skin. His sister does not have this problem. Same litter. And I feel bad for him. I really, really do. Anyway, we're almost home now. Almost back to where I started this video. But I'm gonna go in, finish sweeping, put, you know, just do housekeeping stuff, and then I have to work on the gate. I got this thing because the gate keeps coming off the top post. It's maddening, especially if I'm like leaving to go to work and then the gate literally falls on me. It's like a 14 foot gate. Yeah, I can manage it, but it's not comfortable or fun by any means. So whatever is what it is. I think I've decided on the computer I'm getting. I think I've made a final decision. I have one in my cart online with the specs I want. It's 16 gigabytes of RAM. The display is really good. Uh, a terabyte hard drive, solid state drive. But it is a MacBook. Don't tell Windows. Anyway, I'm gonna let these doggies out. Right. Okay, so. Oh, I'm locked out of my own room. Why do I do that to myself? Well, I know why I do that. I do that because Things are in there that kids have no business getting into. AKA, pow pow, you're dead. And well, those are locked up, but why not just lock the door also? This is my daily carry air weight. Love it. Super cheap case online. I put the clip on this side, but you can put it on either side. So if I'm putting it in my boot, I can swap that. But here's the coolest part. It fits perfectly in that side pocket of my purse. I can either clip it on. Well, my purse is like not hanging off my side. But anyway, point is, love it. Eight bucks on Amazon. Come on now. So this clip, this, it comes with, I'm gonna have to edit that. Depending on the size you need, you can put this clip on, or you can put this smaller one on. I think they both have a little stretch, just a little stretch to them. I went with a slightly larger size. If anybody wants a link to that, I can put a link. I don't get any like affiliate payment, anything, but I do really like it. And I've heard some of you might, might have something that would fit in that. So you're welcome. I do have leather holsters. This is just, Thinner, lighter, keeps the dirt out of the, yeah, just keeps the dirt out of it. All right, bye.